Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here. How you doing? Welcome back to City Skylines. We've got our wonderful little island over here in the middle of Poop Lake, which is growing quite nicely. Our industrial area over here is still suffering from a slight shortage of staff, but it does seem to be going right. We've got a monorail over here that is a passenger service last week, zero. Um, 189. So we've got a monorail that is at least doing something and is helping out a little bit. Um, I am wondering if we should do something else. Maybe we could put a bus route that goes just straight back and forth, or maybe we should try something else. I mean, we do have also the cable car, and this one here, 128 passengers there. So we've got, like, the cable car that goes back and forth. We've got the roads that go back and forth. So, I mean, I think we're doing all right. We're not doing too bad at the moment. That monorail there, that one goes quite a long way around. I mean, I'm guessing it's just because passengers don't get off there, whereas they do get off over here. Uh, we've won the most attractive city, which, you know, all things considered, is quite a surprise. That is, that is definitely quite a surprise. Um, what I wanted to do was I wanted to make some more residential zone, and then once I've made residential zone, I then want to... Uh, well, I'm not actually sure what else I want to do after that. I do want to build a prison island, and that's one of the first things I'm going to do. But before I actually build the prison island, I want to go into disasters, and I want to go to here, and I want to put that all the way up to a 10. And I want to put a few sinkholes in. In particular, I do want to put one here in the middle, because I'm curious what's going to happen if I drop a big old sinkhole underneath some of these bridges. Whether it's going to, like, do some major damage, I'm going to do it on this piece of road right here. I'm going to drop that one right about there, and then I want to add more sinkholes over here, like this. I'm going to add in several of these. And we've got a, a big dip there, so I'm going to put a sinkhole right into it. I'm actually going to do a double sinkhole there, one right on top of the other. And another one over here. This is going to get noisy in a minute. The, the, that woman's going to start screeching about um, all the different things that are about to start happening in the city. So there we go. We've got a whole load of those all on level 10. So I come out of there, switch that one off, and let those start. And then once that happens, we've got two garbage here that are completely full I've got garbage over here is now empty so I can actually get rid of the open budget stop emptying relocate building we'll relocate it it's gonna be cheaper to relocate than it is to build a brand new one isn't it it's got to be I'm assuming it is anyway I'm making I'm making a quick assumption on that but yeah we'll put that one over there I suppose I should have put it closer to this side but still that's fine and that one can now just be operating normally. No, I tell you what. Relocate. Right over here. To that side. And yes, it can operate normally. But it's going to be closer there to the impact zone for a meteorite. So it's more likely to be completely destroyed. This one here is not in quite the right place. So I could actually do with emptying that one completely. And then while that one is emptying, then it's going to start filling up some of these over here. Now, where is my sinkholes? I've got a load of sinkholes. It's going to, it's going to take a while. It's going to, for her to sort of scream about the... Oh, there Geologists we go. predict that a sinkhole could strike at any minute. Residents should take precautionary measures. Geologists predict that a sinkhole could strike at any minute. Residents should take precautionary measures. Geologists predict that a sinkhole could strike at any minute. Residents should take precautionary measures. Geologists predict that a sinkhole could strike at any minute. Residents should take precautionary measures. Geologists predict that a sinkhole could Hello? strike at any minute. Residents should take precautionary measures. A sinkhole has occurred somewhere in the city. Stay out of harm's way and contact authorities with any information. A sinkhole has occurred somewhere in the city. Stay out of harm's way and contact authorities with any information. A sinkhole has occurred somewhere in the city. Stay out of harm's way and contact authorities with any information. A sinkhole has occurred somewhere in the city. Stay out of harm's way and contact authorities with any information. 
A sinkhole has occurred somewhere in the city. Stay out of harm's way and contact authorities with any information. Right. She's finished making her dreadful racket now. So, we did have the monorail get damaged over here. So we're going to have to replace that one. So we'll go back into here. We will go to monorail over there. And we will go to upgrade to repair that piece. And upgrade to repair that piece. And then we will go to that one. Join. Connect. Right. Job done. The monorail is reconnected and should be able to start running again. We've got a monorail going over that way. It's coming over this way. Okay. It should be able to start running. We've got sort of ripples of water flowing everywhere in here. But what I'm hoping is that's just like lowered the level down just a little bit. Help things out with us a bit. It does seem to have worked. The water now is cascading away from us. At a fair rate of not. What is going on over here? What is this? Why have I got a load of people walking through the air over here? Is that the ones that were on the monorail? And now they're just kind of walking slash swimming away from where the monorail was. I think it could actually be. They are swimming away. So the, the double one that I put there, that actually worked really well. It actually worked better than I thought it would. So I'm going to try I'm going to try and put another one right in there. I think that would actually be pretty cool if we could do that. Except that I can't see it when I do that. So let's not worry about it for a minute. We've got a, a deep pool here at the moment. Now I've been given ideas of different things that I can do in order to like fix this. What's going on with that one? That is, the citizens are sick. That's because they live in the middle of a large pool of poop. It's probably not going to help their overall health, is it? Um, yeah, so like I said, there's a few things that I want to do. We do need to increase the residential zoning. Which means a fair bit of work, to be honest. And it's whether I wanted to do that or if I wanted to do the water purification system. I think we'll do a little bit of this. Take some roads and how am I going to do this? I mean, I could I could join some into there and I could join some into there so we can come out on both of them and I could also add a monorail station right here and then add in a stop as well, a couple of the lines. No, I won't add a monorail station. I will leave that. But I will go here to medium road. Right. This is what we're going to do. We're going to bring a road from there. It's going to be a four lane road. And it's going to go straight down this way. Like that. It's going to come out of there. And at 180, it's going to go there. And then it's going to come down this side. Like this. And then it's going to go to there. And then it's going to go like that. And it's going to curve around that piece there. And it's going to curve that way. And then it's going to go back to a straight line. Invalid shape. Ah, right. It's got to go to there. And that will go like that. For a straight line on there. Right. So that is four lane on there. Uh, you know, I reckon we could actually... Large avenue with grass. Two lane avenue with decorative grass strip. That's 50 miles an hour. That Oh, that's also 50. And then... Uh, we've got similar things there. So I've got the monorail. This has got tram tracks. I'm actually considering doing the trams. I think that could be quite cool. Uh, I won't do it now. Right. That one... Nope. I want to bring that one to there, like that. There we go. And then this one over here is going to go out the next bit. And come up there. Right, this is going to be the tricky bit, is getting that to join in. So I want to bring it to there. And then I don't really want it to go a different way. I'm going to have to go that one, I think. Bring it up. No, it does need to go like that. And then I want to bring it into there. But there's space already occupied, so it's going to go like that. 
It won't go straight in, so we are actually going to need to do it. In a straight line there. And join in there like that. There we go. That fills up the most space. That does seem to be a better way to doing it. And we can go to that. And then over here. Again, I can't do it. So I've got to bring it to here. This one, I'm just going to go on a straight angle like that and come out. And then that one there. We're going to put that on a small road. That's just going to be there. It's going to be the decorative one. That one's going to go up that way. There. There we go. Right. Go back to the four lane. We want that one there and we want to upgrade and it's going to be like this. All the way around there. Also like that there and then down there like that. That's all upgraded. Upgrade you and you. And upgrade that all the way through there. So it's, it's already looking fairly posh and fancy and, and quite nice. Um... I want a hospital. I'd like an actual full hospital. One thing I will do, though, before we go any further, is I'm actually going to take a junction, and I'm going to join it straight into here as well, just because I think it might be a handy thing to have. So I don't want to go there. I'll go in like that. That's going to be a junction. It'll join in with the main city as well. I need that at high residential zone there. So I can just fill in some of those bits on that side there, which weren't filled in for whatever reason. Might just be because I slightly straightened it by putting that in there, and so it's, it's changed it. Which is a very strange thing to have happen. Anyway, not that it matters. Uh, so yeah, healthcare. We haven't got a hospital anywhere. No, I don't. I don't think I've got any hospitals at all. I've got various medical clinics, but I don't actually have a hospital. So if I bring one over here, hospital's quite big. I can put one there. Actually, that fills up that whole space. Let me put it down here. Put it there. I'm going to put a hospital right there like that. That's going to be the hospital there, and that's going to help quite a lot of the whole city. What I will also do... In order to give that hospital... We've got some access that way. I'm wondering if I should put access this way. If I bring that out there... Down onto that corner... Is that going to be a better thing? I think that's going to be alright, actually. I, I think that's going to be quite okay, having that there. Uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go with that one. And then we'll go for this here. Although that's going to mean an extra junction. So maybe we should put that one up to here. Like this, look. I bring that one out. I can't do it there. It's not going to let me do that there. Uh, another junction there. This is the thing. I, no, okay. We won't do that. We won't add in another junction. We don't want that at all. But I can go to unique buildings. i got the Statue of Liberty right here. I've got the Brandenburg Gate. Okay, putting the Brandenburg Gate in the middle of my city is actually quite a cool idea. I love this. And uh, that one's going to go... Right over there, on that side. There we go. And we've got the Statue of Liberty. We've got... I don't want the Chirpex launch site. The uh, Boat Museum. I don't want that one either. And this is Landmarks. And then we've got Tourism and Leisure. Fantastic Fountain. This one here, Construct an International Airport. Construct the Fishing Pier. Driving Range, 5,000 squares of Tourism Specialization. And 5,000 squares of leisure specialization. Okay. Right, well, we've got the fantastic fountain. I can put that one in, and that's going to benefit a whole load of people. Although, it is quite a noisy contraption as well. Uh, I don't want it too close to the whole area over there. That's that's not a good thing. So, if I drop it in... No, that's, it's the noise that I'm, I'm concerned about. Apparently, it's extremely noisy. Maybe I should just put another one over here, although there's, there's kind of just that area there. I don't want to put it there. It's, it's, it's not going to work. It's, um, it's going to be a bad thing. Bad things will happen. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to drop this one over here. Try and keep it a little bit away, not over too close to that side. So I'll drop it there. And even though that is actually going to be quite a noisy thing to have, has it made any difference to all of that over there? I don't think it has. 
tiny bit of difference, but not much by the look of it. Okay. Um, landmarks. Level 1 unique buildings. We can put a whole... Ooh. I've already got some. What's this one? Meteorite Park. Okay, we definitely want one of those. That one there. This one, this one can go in the actual city. We will find a way to put this one in here somewhere. There. I know there's got noise pollution on it. Space already occupied right there. We're going to drop that bad boy right in there. There is the spot. Let's remove that. Oh, hang on. No, I want to bring that one back. Let's just see. Has that made more people happy? It hasn't changed the situation here at all. It's made no difference whatsoever to it. I don't really get what the spokes are on the wheel at the moment. Right. Let's ignore the unique buildings. I need to have some parks and plazas and, you know, wonderful things like that. On here, so I got tourism and leisure, jet ski rental, marina. This is all water stuff. So that riding stable, beach volleyball court. Okay, we've got a riding stable there. What's this one? This is a skate park. All right, let's put a skate park in. We'll go there like that, and I want a riding stable as well. This is an out of town sort of edge of town type thing. I'll put that one up there. And then you right here, a beach volleyball court. Beach volleyball right in the middle of town. I'll bring that one over here. And I could put a beach volleyball court right there. Look at them. Look at them. They're now pleased with that. They like it. Yes, it's made a difference. It's actually made a difference to them. They're very happy now. They're very, very happy. I can tell. They, they may not show it on the outside, but I can still tell. I need water. We've got to have water in this area over here. So we'll bring that over to there like that. And then we'll run that into there. And we'll run that into there. And then we'll do a bit like that. There we go. Right. That's all up and running. I haven't got power on those bits, but uh, that's fine. That will happen. Uh, water, 480 pumping capacity. And so I'm going to need some more pumping capacity, I think. So what I will do, I've got a lake over here. This is a water source, I'm assuming. So I'm going to build this over on the side of the lake over here. Put a couple of them right close together. There. And... There, like that. Right. And then we can take some water. Join them together like that. Yeah, I can't join them there. I can join them up here. There we go. Right. That's all I need on there. And then power. I want to get... I want to power this. So I'm going to need sort of something in between. I think I'm just going to have to do this. If I go with that one, bring that across there and down to there like that. And then we'll go in here and we've got a... What's that? Fire safety. I'll put fire in there and I will also put fire up that end as well. And then I will put police. We will put one of those there and we'll put another one of those up here somewhere one right there like that education i'm going to put a primary school in here and i'm going to put another primary school in over here somewhere there so we've got two primary schools then high school we're going to need more high school still so i'll put a high school in there and high school high school high school Eligible is 5,800, so yeah, we'll put two high schools in here. We'll put another one over on that side. And health care, I've already put in a hospital. It's death care that we could do with, so let's have a look at that. Cemetery usage is at 36%. We will take a cemetery there. I'm wondering if we should put a cemetery in here and do the same with the cemetery as we're doing with the garbage. I don't think we will, but we will put the cemetery over here near the edge of it, I think. And I'm also going to put in a crematorium. 
I'm going to put one of those in there, and I'm going to put one of those in... Well, that hospital has got power. I'm going to put a crematorium in there as well. So there's two crematoriums out this side. And then I'm going to do that. So these are actually almost connected with just the, the regular items. That's kind of what I was actually hoping to... This is what I was pushing towards doing. Cable car, plane... We could build a, a we got a a blimp depot. Cool. Blimp stop. Blimp pathway. <laughs> okay, that's actually quite good. Uh blimps for all lines. Depot automatic sends out vehicles and divides them between lines. Um connect blimp stops. Not sure if I Less, I, I'm not going to worry about blimps today. Although it is quite cool. I do like that idea. I, I, I really do. That's actually pretty good. Um, okay, we'll go for low residential zoning around the outside. We'll just do that and do that all the way around there. And low level there as well. And then I will fill in these bits with some low level residential zoning. Like that there and I'm gonna do this around the edges on here like that because then with the inside bits they will all change round if something will build up on that bit it'll all change round and um, the, the, the power will connect that's all I'm after is the power is I just want the power to connect so we've got residential zoning is being built over there I got residential building over there and in between these it's going up over here. This is the bit here that I need some residential to actually be built. So as soon as that bit has been built, we're good to go. Right there. And then it'll connect up with power across the entire thing. Unless, of course, the residential is built down through there. Because that's what I've also zoned. Go on. That's all I need now. If we can get these to join up together... I'll be a very, very happy chappy, because i got all these houses that are now going up, and we still got call for residential zoning. We do need a bit of commercial zoning as well, don't we? And I haven't actually got commercial zoning being built yet, so maybe I should do that. Uh, we've got a house going up there. That's going to finish that bit off. Commercial. Maybe I should build commercial zone. I've got the commercial zone over here, plus I've got the offices. And there's more commercial zones. This is going to be high-level commercial over this way. So if that's all going to be high-level commercial zoning, maybe I need to change it round to... Hmm. No, it's not going to be all high-level. It's a high-density. Yeah, we'll do high-density commercial in these two bits here, and then the rest of it is all going to be high-density residential. That's how I'm going to do it. So that there... I'll do that bit. Let's see if anybody comes along and builds right where that one is, or if I actually need to get a bulldozer to come and bulldoze it down. I think I'm going to need a bulldozer. I don't think it's going to do it otherwise. And this bit here. Why aren't you building here? Why do they do this? That, that you've got all of these areas all the way around that they can build on, and they absolutely refuse to do it. Take that one. Remove that, and then maybe that will actually build something. It might, it might not, who knows. Um, I may as well fill in the rest of that as I'm here. And maybe that will encourage something. Because I'm going to go high-density commercial there. And then all the rest of that is going to be high-density residential zone. See, that's already building. The, the, the commercial zoning is already building up, which might actually be enough. I got the one building over there. Get rid of that a minute, and I'll go up here. I can do it like that. It's easier. Um, wow. Okay, those are throwing up really, really fast. They're absolutely chucking them up as quickly as they possibly can. It's the residential zone. It, yeah, apparently, I got a demand for residential zone, but they're not building any. If you could come over here and build some, there's the commercial zone. It, I, it, I mean, if the commercial will build out on that corner over there... That would also help, but nope, they're not going to do that. They're going to build over this side. I shouldn't have built in this area here. I should have just done it in that one. And then they would have they would have built there. Look, up it goes. I've actually got demand now for industrial zone. 
I've got loads more industrial zone over where we have the other bits, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to leave it completely. I just want to see... I, I just need this to connect up before I build the high-density residential in there. That one there is going up and up and up and up. And there we go. It is now connected in. We've got full power all the way around, which means that we've got power going into the water over there. Everything has got power all the way through, and everybody's happy. And now they start building over here as well, although they're still not quite enough to connect it up. But that one is. That's all I needed. Just needed that bit. So now that that's done, I can turn that one off. Water over here, one million per week. That's more than enough. I, I don't need to worry about that in the slightest. So I can go back here to this, and we're going to do high density residential. And the first thing we're going to do is put high density residential on those bits over there and these bits down through here like that to make that nice and simple. And those two little bits. There we go. And then, see, if you move it up and down, it doesn't do like the whole thing. You've got to make sure that you get it centered. So we've got all of that piece, all of that piece, and there all of that piece as well so we've now got a mass of residential zoning all ready for people they can go they can build everything they want and we've got the facilities over here that they want as well all the city um city services services is what i'm looking for uh they've got all the city services that they will need we've got a metro station over here which they're not actually that far away from and then there's another metro station where's my other ones Oh, the other one's over there, and then I got one over this side, haven't I? I got three metro stations in the circle. So I could always build another metro station out here, except that I don't want to. That's just, it's, it's not something that I want to do. I don't want to be a part of that. Right, that's that bit done, and so that means we've got more residential coming out. Um, the next thing that I wanted to do was somebody was saying that what I need to do is that I have a separate loop here for water coming out and then going back in with a cleaning system and you need to use this one the water treatment plant put in a water treatment plant which i can't put there um i can put the water treatment plant over here and put a pump right next to it so i could do that there like that right and i can put a pump right next to it here like that and join the two together like that and then it should pump from one to the other I'm not sure if this is actually gonna work I don't think it does I think you've got to connect it in to the main system in order for it to work although operating normally water pump station pumping capacity 120,000 a week this one here not operating drain capacity so i've got sewage running in here see i got water that it looks like the water is running in oh now it's not operate why aren't you operating not operating either let me try moving it no moving it doesn't seem to happen Right, I'm not really sure... Uh, oh, no, I want to press the X on there. So, yeah, it's just not operating. Whether I need to have, like, a house or something connecting between the two. But, yeah, the, the idea is I I have a pump coming out and then it goes back into the... But it, it, well, I mean, I might just be oversimplifying this. I might need to have it in a different location. So if I take this one here a minute and relocate this building... We'll bring this one down over here. Shoreline recommended. Yeah, and I, I get that. And I get that it's a shoreline recommended. And then we're going to have to do a little bit of landscaping around this one. So we go with that. And I'll actually go with this one here. And this one will be... Oh, I don't have any soil available. Right. I'll have to grab some soil from in here. Like this. I can I can get loads of this from in here like this. Uh, I got a whole wall there that I can sort of drag up there. Ten thousand, eleven thousand, sixteen, twenty thousand. 
It costs a lot of money to drag all of this up, but it does work. There, 30 grand. 37, 30, 40,000. Right, that's, I've, I've, soil depository is full. That cost me about 40 grand, that did. So then I can bring it back down here and I can make myself a, a wall around this. There. It doesn't have to be as big as the other one. So I just bring it in here in between the two, like that. Uh, I do want to bring it out a little bit higher than that. So we'll bring it sort of out to that height there, I should think. On round. I can bring it up a little bit higher. There. A little bit of a pool here. That's the idea. There. Right. Right, so we got a, we got a little bit of a pool there, and then we got the water structures. So I want that one there, which would go. Well, yeah, it it can connect up to there, I suppose. And then I'll take that one. We should come around the top. Like this. There. And that one out and up onto there like that. Okay. So that is that bit built. So then this one here, I can relocate and put it round that way. So it's got a shoreline, slope too steep. So I'll bring it down a little bit until we've got just the right... There we go. We can put that one on there. Right, so I got that bit there. And then I've got a pipe over here. I take a water pipe here and I run that over to this one and it joins onto there like that right well that's now working although i haven't got any power on there i do need to have some power so we go electricity now and i will take that one and bring that right up there bring that across here Essentially, I want to just take it straight across onto there, like that. That's now got power. Okay, I don't get that. Now that it's got power, it's not actually... Treat. It's not working. If I remove that power, it starts working. How is that? Water treatment plant purifies most of the sewage before it's pumped out. How does it work, though? that look building is turned off turn the building back on again let me go here and remove that there like that and then no 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 I know what I can do if I go back to here and then I go to that one and remove that so that it disconnects it and then I go back to this one and go you to you, connect you in like that. That's what it did last time and then it immediately started working. I'm not really sure why it started working. Look, see I got more water has flowed down there. So it did work and then it stopped working. Why did it do this? Why, why is this a thing? So I want to take you from there. Space already occupied. Construct. Oh, i got to bring that up, haven't I? That's what it doesn't like. Get you. Remove that one. And I want to go into there. Right, so I've got to connect onto there and then... Bring that one up to there. And then down to there like that. Right. Now I've got power coming into it, but it doesn't work. And half the reason I think it doesn't work is because, well, I'm not sure. I think it, like, we've got, we've got, oh, the, hang on, that's, that's not operating. Why aren't you operating? I am so confused with this thing. I don't get why, yes, I do wish to destroy that structure. Right. Why does it do... Why does it work like this? This this doesn't make any sense. Why have I got to... 
I think what it's got to do is it only takes the sewage out of the sewage system. So, I got these people here who are constantly getting sick. I could just, like, run it through that little bit and then back out again. I got a feeling that, that is the only way that I can do it. Um, yeah, so if I bring that one there, that's the, the edge of the lake. The edge of the lake does move around a bit. I'll bring that one down there as low as I can. And... Right, what about power? Let's get power onto it first. There. So I'm bringing you straight across there like that. So that one's got some power. And then I go here into the water. And I take water from there. And I join it into there. Right. Job done. And that should now connect this one up. We should have water coming through. But it's not operating at all. There is no operating of this one whatsoever. Despite the fact that I've got operating normally. But this one over here doesn't seem to be connected up to it. It is connected up to it. So why aren't you operating? So it does actually have to run through the town. So really the only way that I can do this is if I join this here. I don't have this pump here. I'm going to need to... Actually, I'm not sure. This was the idea. Was You, you, you can take it out. That's this, this is how it worked. You can take it out with the pump from here. And that puts it over through this one. And then it gets tipped out into the, the drain down here. And that's how it all works. It cleans it out. And then the water that's in here then becomes absolutely crystal clear. Like, that's almost clean. It is still actually a little bit dirty. This here is all polluted water that's going in. But it's not actually cleaning it. It's coming through this one, but it's not cleaning it. And why it's not cleaning it is something that is a little bit of a mystery to me at the moment. I don't understand why it's not working. Maybe I need another one of these. Let's, let's add in another one. Slope too steep. Shoreline recommended. I'll put another one in there. Like that. And I've got some water up there that's space occupied i'm going to bring that one out there and join that in like that there so now i have two of them neither of them are working why are you not working can i get another pump on this one let's get let's get another pump in on the action here and see what that does i don't think i can here it's not quite yes yeah, it's um it's not quite enough room on the edge of this little area that we've got. See, I can put a pump there. There's room for a pump there, but this it did it was working to start with, and that's the bit that annoys me. It was actually working. Estimated production 120,000 per week. What is this? Pumping service. Right, the pumping service is a fleet of va Oh, I see. Yeah, that's that's the the ones that go around. Freshwater outlet. Uh, let's out excess water in the system. Can be placed on dry land, creating lakes and ponds. Water evaporates and the outlet can be turned off. It's not evaporating. Okay, I'm going to put in another one of those in there. And I'm going to connect that one in with another pipe into there. I'm going to get rid of that. Right, this one here. Not operating, operating normally. So why aren't you operating? Because it's got no water on it. There are waves traveling backwards and forwards on this, so it's actually causing it to not operate at times, I think. I think that's part of the issue here. And this one over here, then, is not getting any... It's... Hmm. I honestly thought that there was a thing that you could do, that that was actually a thing you could do, but it doesn't seem to be working at all. Both of these are not operating. They filled up the pipe that's under the ground... But they're not doing anything else to it. They're not tipping it into the lake. They're not, like, um, cleansing anything. They're not pushing it through. So, really, our only option is to remove these pipes up here and change them over with these. And But still, it's going to be dirty water that's in that pond. 
It's going to be 85% clean, which means it's going to have 15% of dirty water in it. Um, but yeah, we cannot extract water from here with this on a separate system. It doesn't work. It's not, it's, it's not having it at all. They're, they're just sat here, not operating. They're not pulling it through. Even though we've got the pipe that goes through, it goes through into this one. Still not operational. And if I was to join this in, all that would do is add in some other issues. But I wonder, is it only houses that produce sewage? Is there another way to do this? Like, if I look in here, it doesn't actually tell me. Because what I'm thinking is maybe I could go for, like, a beach volleyball court. It's got to be next to a road. Maybe there's something I could do like that. I'm not entirely sure at the moment. We'll have to wait and see. But at the moment, it's not working at all. We, we don't have any such luck with that. But we've kind of run out of time for today's episode. So we'll have to come back and have another look at this next time. See if we can get anything to work on here. We want to be able to clean the lake. And at the moment, just taking it out via pumps and putting it through a system and having it on a separate line to the rest of the city doesn't work. So there's got to be another way around it. It might be that we need a mod that um, forces it through, in which case we'll have a start having a look at the mods. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.